Sean told us he's got 30 tickets already. How are you faring in that? Uh, I'm working on it. It's going it's going slow, but I, I'm, I'll get there. I got a few family members coming to the game, so you know it's my last game uh, playing at Rutgers. You know I got a lot of family who want to make it down. Just it's going it's going somewhere. I'm trying to get there. Rashawn says the air smells different in New Jersey. That you guys all know it. What what, what does he mean? Is there some different vibe in New Jersey? <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess maybe just being closer to home. I, I kind of understand what he means, but it's hard to put into words. It's you know it's just a different feel. Going to Jersey is just a it's a whole different ball game. You know, it's being close to home. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of thoughts in my mind when I think about going home to New Jersey. So it's exciting. You mentioned that. Have you thought of the journey that you've been on since being a recruit from Paramus to now your fifth year going home to, to uh, Rutgers to play? I don't think about it that often, but I mean, yeah, it does cross my mind sometimes. You know, I think about you know from that starting point back where I started playing football back in my freshman year of high school to now, and uh, wanting to continue the journey to the next level. So I mean, it's exciting, but you know, as I said, hey, it's not in the barn. So I just I don't really I don't try not to think about it too often. Where do you think you've grown? John Runnan was here the other day talking about you know from Notre Dame game on that made him sick watching that film. But obviously he's evolved. Yeah. How about you? Where, where have you come from since that game? Oh, uh, I agree with John. I mean, my my thoughts on it, you know, like, all right, like, we didn't play well. I'm not satisfied with it. I know that, you know, all the work that we put in has, you know, it's proven that I thought in our eyes, we, we know that we should we should be playing better ball. And I think from that week on, we just you know, took the ball by the horns and we knew that we had to put better stuff on tape, play better. Like, you know, there's a certain level of expectation that we have for ourselves. And I think after that, we, you know, took each other, but took each other and uh, held each other accountable for our actions and uh, paid more attention to the details, paid more attention to, you know, what's important, you know, studying the film, you know, our techniques. So, yeah. I think, I think Harbaugh said that your best game, you graded out at Michigan State and then Ward said something about this last game. How did you grade out in this last game? Uh, I, I graded out pretty well. I was I was satisfied with the grade. There were a few things I had to fix, but overall, I thought that I was I was pretty happy with it. I think in the last few weeks, I've just been on an upward trend, just you know trying to take it game by game, play by play, and uh, doing what I got to do. What do you attribute that upward trend to? Uh, just you know, being an older guy, you know, understanding the game more, you know. So you know, when I'm older, I don't I don't really have classes like the younger guys do. The younger guys do. So you know, just putting more time in the film, studying the playbook. You know, playing, paying attention to my opponent. You know, working on techniques. That those are all the things that you got to do. What's there a point in the offseason where you sort of uh, like maybe flip the switch, realize this is your last chance, and it's got to work now? Like in terms of focus, everybody's talked about your focus has been different. Is there a point, maybe the winter or anything, that you really kind that? Uh. I don't think there was a, spe a specific point where, uh, where you know, I decided I had to turn things around. I, you know, it's always been, it's always been in my mentality that I, I want to go out there and do great things. And you know, more opportunities were given to me this past season than before, and I took advantage of them. You know, especially with being my last season of college ball. You know, I wanted to be able to prove and show to everybody. You know, because I knew I knew it already. It wasn't I have to show everybody else what I'm capable of, and you know. Week after week, I'm going to go out there and do it. So that's my plan. When you say more opportunities, what do you, what do you mean? You know, just playing, you know, playing more, getting more reps, uh, you know, playing more, cons you know, opportunities to play more consistently. So, you know, things like that. How much has Coach Warner helped you get to this point? Uh, I think Coach Warner has had a, has a big role in helping me get to this point. I think Coach Warner, you know, taking the time to simplify things in the beginning, you know, you know, Making, you know, having a certain mentality about how we play ball and what we have to do in uh, finishing, I think that has played a large role in what what is happening this year and what's going to continue to happen. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. When you guys are just mauling people on the D line, when you're just creating holes, what does yeah. that feel like? Uh, it's a good feeling. Uh, there's not there's not much you can do, like you know compare that to. I think. Uh, you know, just playing ball and just being able to knock some off the ball and, you know, seeing the running back, you know, run 15 yards, 20 yards downfield, score. It's, it's a good feeling, you know. You feel like you feel accomplished, you know, you know, and when you do it often, you know, it's, it's the sense of accomplishment, the confidence goes up, you know, you feel you get a certain swagger about you. So it's a good feeling. It's a little different than a couple of years ago when this unit was taking a lot of heat. 
Yeah, yeah, it is. What happened in the uh, Michigan State game with your injury? You know, just got rolled up too serious. So it didn't take long to rehab? No. Okay. Yeah, I'm good now. How do you think Stuber did in your play? Uh, I thought he did well. I think Stuber has a bright future. I think that um, going forward, as he gets older, as he gets more mature, I think that uh, he'll be able to play a good role, a big role in this team. And uh, I think he's, I think he's gonna be a great player. Do you want, do you make a point to talk to some of the younger guys in your room about you know you got to maybe get frustrated not playing it a lot because it takes a long time that you have to stick it out. Do you make a point? Now yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I try to make a point of that. I think that uh, you know a lot of people. Coming from high school, you know, the first two years, you, you you got a certain ego about you, and college football can be really humbling because you know you may not always get those opportunities. There, are, there, are, there are guys who are better than you. There are guys who you know who get more opportunities, and that, that that may happen. But I think the biggest thing about playing college football and even playing football in general is how you finish. So yeah, you may not get to start off on the right foot. Yeah, like things happen. That's that's how life works sometimes, and I think that the way you approach it and the way you you go about your business is what's the, what's the most important thing. Did you have an ego about you when you got here? I mean, I'm sure everyone does. You know, I thought I thought a certain way about myself, just like everybody else. And you know, playing against you know really good players. I played good players in high school. That's high school. When you get to college, things change. You know, people are bigger, faster, stronger, and it takes a while to adjust, especially when you're young. And you know, once you accommodate to that, and you know, you get in the weight room, you get stronger. You you get in the playbook, and you you do all these things. All these all these things come together, and you get your confidence. Confidence is one of the most important things. And just go out there and do what you got to do. It's the simplest way to put it. What are the battles like with Rashawn and Pass Pro when you just go one on one? They can be difficult. It's but it's, you know, it's it's a good look. Like, you know, um, there aren't many people in the country who um, I play who are going to you know, do better than that. So I I take the opportunities when they when they come, you know, and uh, I try to do the best I can. But out there, you know, they're back and forth. So that's that's important. So it, it lets me, it gives me, <laughs> it gives me, uh, gives me an idea, you know, uh, well, I can, I can have him beat him in a brass first, and I'm going to beat most of the people I'm going to play against. So that's all. That's how I try to attribute. Obviously, you weren't there at the same time, but is there a certain kind of point of pride for the fact that, you know, you two get to play against each other and, you know, both being Paramus alum? Uh, I mean, it's not. It's probably not spoken, but I'm sure there is. I think about it sometimes, but it's not, you know, not something too outright. Maybe when we were both younger, but, I mean, now it's just like we're both Michigan players, you know. We think about it, you know, we used to think about it like that, but, I mean, it is what it is now. Rashawn mentioned that he thought that you were more patient in pass protection than you were at the beginning of the year. Is that something that you focus on a lot? Uh, yeah, I think that's one, probably one of the biggest things for me is you know focusing on being patient. Uh, I you know I pride myself on you know having quick feed and you know like being able to readjust to, to rushers quickly. And sometimes you know it's not all about that. Sometimes you got to be more patient in pass pro and uh, you know be more. You know, precise and specific with your movements, and I think going against those guys, you know, the assortment of moves that they have and the assortment of the guys that they have rushing, it can teach you to you know play more patiently, and you know, because you can't overset everything, you can't you know, you know, try to underset everything. You gotta find a, a happy medium. Is that something that you you think uh, more offensive linemen develop later on in their careers? Yeah, I think you know, you know, I think there are a lot of there are a lot of key things that ro run into you know. Playing college ball, I think that uh, you know some people come and play right away. Like you know, and they, coaches expect them to catch. You know, they'll catch up. You know, they let them they let them mature through playing in games. Some people, you know, need more reps. You know, need more, just need more time, and that happens. So I think that um, as offensive linemen, since it is one of the most being an offensive line is probably one of the most difficult positions on the field. It's not something that comes to you right away, and uh, once you. I feel like once you like really get it down pat and you spend a lot of time on it, it becomes it becomes a lot more you know natural. Because you know in high school you don't go against everyone who's playing isn't a D1 prospect. Everyone who's playing is an NFL prospect. So you just gotta take it day by day and 
you know, it takes, it's a, it's a certain gritty mentality that comes with it. You know, you may lose some, you may win some. The highs are never too high, the lows are never too low. With that minor, you were surprised how quickly Caesar has, has acclimated and stepped into his starting role like he has as a sophomore. Say that again? Yeah, you said it takes time yeah. for an offensive line, but he's a sophomore and he's yeah. already being impactful. Yeah. Does that surprise you at all, how quickly uh, he's been able No, to I, don't, I don't think it surprises me. I think Caesar, you know, is outside of that mold. I think Caesar is going to have a bright future. And uh, he's surprisingly quick for somebody his size. So I think Caesar, uh, if, as long as he, he takes what he has now and also – tries to apply that mentality of just, you know, trying to take it day by day and getting better, then the sky's the limit for him. All right.